What's up everybody? Derek here with the Bass Factor and today felt like a great day to talk about my top five baits that I use for creeks. These are the top five baits that I use and the first one that I go with is a split shot lizard. I would take a split shot and I would just rig it up above and I would split it on, I would pinch it onto the line and then run a hook down to the bottom, maybe a foot to two foot from the actual split shot. And it was usually an extra wide gap hook, I mean two, two aught, three aught, something a little bit smaller. And I would take a zoom finesse worm or a lizard, a smaller one. And I would put that on their weedless and just walk and walk and walk and just keep catching fish. This method, I actually caught the biggest to date smallmouth that I've ever caught. I've taken trips up to Canada and gone to Lake of the Woods and I've caught smallmouth up there, but I go to Arkansas and I go walking on some of these backwater creeks way out in the middle of nowhere and I caught a four and a half pounder on this this way of fishing so definitely this is one of my favorite ways of fishing you should definitely give it a try because it will catch you a lot of fish and even on the lake when you have those bad days where you're not catching anything I took this method and transferred it over to the creek and boom I was catching fish and in every pocket, every situation I was catching fish. So you should definitely give that one a try. But one of the most underrated lures that people use on creeks is a rooster tail. These things catch fish and they're so simple. There's nothing to them. If you've got a couple dollars, go down to Walmart, buy a couple of these. It doesn't matter if it's chartreuse or pink or white or black or whatever color you get. You could have a, a colored blade. You could have a gold or silver blade. You get a couple of these, you got 10 bucks, go buy you a couple, go down to the creek and try them out. I've had instances where I've gone out and I've caught more than a friend and we'd be using different lures or different blade colors and vice versa. We'd go back and forth with who could catch the most, but typically when you just have a rooster tail, you toss this thing out there and you just do as slow of a retrieve as you can to where that blade's just spinning and most of the time those fish will just come up and hammer on one of these and these things are 1 16th 1 8th ounce those are the sizes that I usually go with but you can keep going up in size on these things and just keep getting bigger and bigger but there's nothing to them you just got the blade it's just a long shaft of wire you tie it to the front of that shaft you got the blade you got the weight and then you got the treble hook on the back with a little bit of you know jig flare with a little bit of uh, the hairs on the back but there's really nothing to them you just toss them out and do a slow retrieve give it a little pop sometimes if that blade won't be going and then all of a sudden you'll be catching fish so you should definitely give a rooster tail a try and also they're very cheap so you can put just tie one on and go fishing and you'll catch fish and not just on the creek on the lake too this is how I got my wife onto a lot of fish back in the day and she actually caught I think this was a five pounder on a rooster tail because they're so easy to catch fish with. You know another one that's also underrated are those little bitty crankbaits that you see in the section at Walmart or Academy or anywhere. They're in the dollar section a lot of times, but the, those little bitty crawfish colors or those little bitty you know crankbaits that look like they'd be perfect for crappie fishing. Well you take those things you go down to the creek and you just take them and barely dig them into the bottom because most of the time on a creek it's that rushing water and that moving water so you're going to have a rock bottom. So you pull that thing along and just barely get it into the bottom or you just toss it up into the current along where it's a little bit deeper and then pull it out and those fish will come up and just hammer one. These things have caught me a lot of fish when I've been switching baits and I wasn't catching anything for some reason. I tie on a little bitty crankbait, toss it out there, and all of a sudden I'm catching fish again. So, you know, with these little bitty crankbaits, they'll save you some money also. So definitely give a small crankbait a shot. You know, this is probably one of the easiest ways of fishing. You know, when we're kids, we're going out there perch, brim fishing, crappie fishing, and you're just tossing out a live minnow or worm or whatever, and you're just letting it set and wa waiting until that bobber just goes down under. Well, that's exactly what I would do on the creek. 
I would take a bobber, put it up top, either it's the long cylindrical one or the round one, and you just want to put that up top, come down a foot, and put you on a split shot so you're keeping that down, and then coming down with a smaller hook or you're going with a, a weighted jig head. And whenever you're doing that, you want to take a plastic grub of some kind of ribbon tail or something, something smaller, an inch to two inches long, and it's going to be some crappie style jig head or jig plastic jig and that grub you want to put that on there toss it out into the little holes so the bobber will be up here and the jig will be down here so it's about a two foot depth throw it out there in that little pocket let it set for a couple seconds give it a couple pops or twitches just to get it to where that 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 falling action of that grub is doing that as it's coming along and it's fluttering the tail and you will catch all species of fish on this. You'll catch smallmouth, uh, largemouth, perch, brim, catfish. You'll catch everything, especially if we're on the river or, or the creek. But on the creek, I have caught almost every species that you could possibly catch in the creek that is in the water. Every species, which is crazy. So if you want something that's a slow presentation that's going to keep that bait right in front of that fish, and it's going to give it just enough action they will hammer on these and you will catch a lot of fish doing it this way so definitely give it that that way a try for my last way of fishing on the creek is any kind of weightless finesse worm it could be a four to five inch worm six inch it doesn't matter you want something that's smaller and is more of a finesse worm it could be a ribbon style it could be a fluke it could be a Senko style, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a worm that is smaller in size, you could wacky rig it, you could Texas rig it. Does not matter. You throw that thing over there in the current and what it's doing is it's it's got a slow sink rate. So it's not falling to the bottom, bottom really quickly. And what that's doing is it's keeping it in the fish's face a lot longer than usual. And if it's in that current as well, it's going to be fluttering a lot more than just if it was sitting in just setting water that's not moving so definitely give that way a try and throw it near you know limbs that are falling in the water or brush piles that are in the creek or you know anything like that you let it go past a little bit of a current break and as soon as it falls out of that current it'll actually be speeding up and then it falls out of that current and it slows down and that's usually where the fish are usually sitting waiting to ambush on fish that are coming out of that current so it speeds up and then slows down as soon as it gets out of that current and just a slow sink rate they'll come up and they'll just eat that thing right away and i've caught a lot of good fish and these will this one on the creek is known to catch you a lot bigger fish also but Definitely give that way a try and give all of these ways a try because they will get you on the fish in the creek. And especially if you're wade fishing or you're you're throwing out baits that are a little bit larger than what you should be using and you don't realize that, you know, why am I not catching fish? You should be fishing a little bit smaller and going with a little bit more finesse style. But let me know what you guys fish with on the creeks. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you fish with because everybody's got their own style of fishing this just happens to be mine but subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one